Aloha just had to get out of the office. We're at the beach, the sun is shining, Katie Jones here, and we have a new episode of Welcome to Florida for you. But before we get to this week's topic, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all the latest episodes that are dropping on the deeper dive. If you're taking a stroll on the beach like I am right now, you may have the chance to see sea turtles laying their eggs in the sand, and that's because it's nesting season. And most of that nesting actually happens right here in Florida. Between March and October, sea turtles will make anywhere between 40,000 to 84,000 nests across Florida's coast. Our state is a hot spot for sea turtles, with nearly 90% of nesting happening on Florida's beaches. Five sea turtle species nest in Florida, loggerheads, green sea turtles, leatherbacks, Kemp's Ridleys, and hawksbills. Adult leatherbacks can weigh as much as a whopping 2,000 pounds. Once the sun sets, these gentle giants will make their way onto shore, finding a spot to nest. After slowly digging a hole, Females will lay the soft shell eggs and up to 120 of them. She'll then bury them in the sand once she's done and then head back out to sea. She will never return to the eggs. In one season, some species of sea turtles will nest up to 10 times. One of the coolest things about sea turtles is their sense of navigation. So experts say that females will actually return to the same beach that they were born on to lay their eggs and sometimes will build their nest just a couple hundred yards away from the original one. You can even track the live paths of several sea turtles through the Sea Turtle Conservancy. So let's talk about these baby sea turtles. I know, I know, they are absolutely adorable, but they face a daunting journey with some not so great odds. Once the hatchlings have made it out of their eggs and through the sand, it's a mad dash for the water. If they don't make it quickly, they will face dehydration or even be caught by predators like crabs or birds. But even the ocean isn't always a safe place for a baby sea turtle. Predators like sharks, big fish, and even more birds are waiting, and you can't forget about the pollution. Baby sea turtles often die from eating tarballs and plastic garbage. With so many obstacles, it's estimated that only one in 1,000 sea turtles will survive to adulthood. On top of all of this, climate change poses a risk to sea turtle populations, and it goes all the way back to their eggs. Temperature dictates the gender of sea turtles, and warmer weather leads to more females. Experts say global temperatures are predicted to increase by as much as 7 degrees Fahrenheit over the next century. If temperatures continue to rise, scientists are worried about the widespread feminization of sea turtle hatchlings. If you're interested in seeing sea turtles in person, there are a few rules you'll need to follow. One of the biggest aspects of sea turtles laying eggs is the fact that it mostly happens at night. That means you should not use a flashlight or shine any light into the face of a sea turtle. This could spook her, causing the turtle to stop nesting and return to the water, and could even discourage other nearby sea turtles from coming ashore. As much as you want that Instagram-worthy picture, you shouldn't use a flash. And for your safety, please don't go near the turtle's head. Sea turtles, especially those giant loggerheads, have very strong jaws and they aren't afraid of protecting themselves. And this one should be obvious, but don't touch the sea turtle eggs. They're very delicate and experts say you could introduce bacteria. All five of the sea turtle species in Florida are either threatened or endangered. Turtles are protected under state statutes and federal ones too. But the Sea Turtle Conservancy does say it's very important to enjoy your experience because it's one you're definitely going to remember for the rest of your life. Considering the move to Florida, or maybe you're already here, tell me what you want to know about. You can email me at mjones at 10tampabay.com or you can find me on Twitter at katiejonestv.